Bum, bum, bum. Da, 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 da. Dude, let me tell you, I love Freeze Mage so much. I love Freeze Mage so much that we're just gonna do it again. Let's do the build, huh? We want this. We want one of you, two of you, some of them, two of these guys, for sure. Uh, do I want to change the build? I actually really liked how that one felt. Just a single guy here. And then we have the no dice. No vice. Let's go ahead and get the loot. The loot hoarder. We're running. Ah, control A doesn't work in that field. Acolyte pain. Tight. Uh, what else do we need? We need a Thown. We need a Thor. We need an Evolved. Evolved! Ah, I'll just type it again. Uh, we need an Al Alexstrasza. And last but not least, the people who won't stop complaining. The Doomsayers. Song is that song's incredible. Jaina versus Kadgar. Knowledge is power. You asked for it. All right. Ah, do I keep Forgotten Torch against this guy? I think I do. It's really nice to have three damage against this. Have I watched Speed Racer? I haven't. I haven't. Well, hi, beautiful. Oh, I love you. Aren't you wonderful? Aren't you just a beautiful cat? Okay. Okay, don't step on my keyboard. Don't you step on my keyboard. Oh my god, it me, JP. Hey, JP, I don't know if you're going to be up later tonight, but I would be thrilled to play some Dota 2, man. Uh, I have to practice a lot. I played some last night, and my last hitting's like, really, it really was in the shitter. <gasps> it's bears we're against a first match. Well, we could be. So we don't want to do too many assumptions at this point. I should have forgotten oh, Torch. I, I was, that was a nice play. I was thinking about Dota. Hi, sweetie pie. Don't step on the keyboard. You're so good. What a good cat. Don't knock that light over like you did last time. Well. Well. How do we do this one? I mean, we, we gotta, like, go as fast as humanly possible down the deck. We just know himself there. That's a good outcome for him. Probably wants to run this out right now, but Forgotten Torches are like, man. I hear you, JP. I hear you. I'll just be eating salad and crying. Dana vs. Toby won 1v1 mid, let me tell you. Toby won with, like, I think virtually everyone who plays Dota would take the biggest shit on me. Just a big ol' shit, man. Like, on me. I want that. That's what they do. Everyone. 100% of humans. So let's see. Am I looking to get low and then to ice block back to health? Maybe get low and Alex Straza back to health? And try to just burn burn him out? Burn out his pepperonis? That's 
good. That's good. That makes me feel a little bit better about using my Alexstrasza. Why not coin Thorson? Because I, I don't want these cards to be cheaper. Like, I just have an Ice Lance and a Forgotten Torch. Those are really weak targets. It's a little bit better, but I don't see any reason to do anything. Depending on what we get this turn. Perfectus. Dude, what is wrong with me? Ah! I am just suddenly not paying attention properly. I mean, this is, like a, this is like a severely newbie move that I just did. I literally said, "Do am I going... Uh, you know when I did this? What was happening in my head is, am I going to mill? No. And then I just moved on. I guess that's what happens when I've been playing for, Jesus, like seven hours. Ain't no thing. Um, because I'm good at calling it, I think we are going to mill the Alex Straza. I think as tragic as it is, I think we're going to mill the Alex Straza that I, that I more than anything want not to mill. Mind if I roll need? The best would be Ice Barrier. My hand is too full. Oh, that's fucking really bad. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's fine, he mills one. Let's get Alex Straws out of here, huh? My hand is full. Why couldn't I do that? Or at my doomsayers and just be sad too. Oh, he's digging so much deeper than I am. It hurts. Uh... The end is coming. So that's I mean it's a barrier, but maybe we'll be able to stabilize in some way. And Alex draws ourselves back to a healthy amount. Am I just rolling this over into the Dectacular? Yeah, I basically am just going to upload all five brawls. <laughs> and probably do some standard tomorrow. I'm actually going to have to stop in about uh, 25 minutes, so... I mean, I have to kill this. Alright, I have to kill this, and then we're gonna ice block. It's what must be done. There's almost no way he's not gonna be able to kill us. He, he got there sooner. Um, I mean, there were two just stunningly huge mistakes that we made this game. One was not just killing the Acolyte when he played it, and the second one was milling a card. Inexplicably. I bring life. Is there a dud ice barrier? So almost any combination of the cards that he has left in his deck will kill us. some way to make him overdraw. I don't think there is, but if there's some way! I guess if he can't pop the ice block this turn, we have a chance to pop his shit on his turn. Because we're going to get him to 16. No, we're, not, we're not making any progress on this front. Okay. Uh, he should be able to kill us next turn. That should be what is on the docket for the, for the day. Feel like I'm doing something. 
Yeah, so he's he's just gonna go Roaring Torch, Fireball, Ping. If he doesn't, then that's incredible. Um... Seven. Seven and four. Seven and four, and then we have ten. Hmm. Is there some way to do that? Six and four is eleven. Eleven and five is... I think there's a way to quite do it exactly the way I want to. This will be 11 and this will be 16. Is there a way to do that better? 14 and 7? No, this is the best. Going for counterspell, he doesn't win counterspell. Nothing matters. I mean, I'm shocked that we're not dead. Like, truly amazed. We have several burn cards in here, too. Okay, so he's... Draw now is if he pings, which means he doesn't have lethal with two fireballs. Ah! Did we actually win? No, I guess not. No. Damn. Wait, what was he holding that whole time then? Hope. Hope is the worst feeling ever. Never have hope. Always expect the worst so you won't be disappointed. I think we got pretty close, though. We got pretty close. We did a pretty good job. Uh, of recovering. <laughs> After we literally ruined our whole experience of life. Fuck. <laughs> God. Jaina versus <laughs> no, not Let's Moon Chemo. You asked for it. Okay, so we want to make sure that we get the draw. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take our hands off the keyboard. We're also going to eat a piece of chicken. Maybe a banana. Chicken's really good. I'm going to coin this out. You like my invention. Well done. All right, I think we're going to be able to win this game. If we are, if we are very thoughtful,
All right, got him. Yeah. Oh, the 25. Fireball. So we have a lot of damage right now. And I think that weirdly against Hunter, um, it's... I have had many games where just by virtue of getting a good Thoris and off down on some of these removal spells, I can just blow them out pre-Alexstrasza. Oh, sure. I'm gonna run out the Doomsayer later. Healing for a billion is good. I let the dogs out. <laughs> I saw that. Frost Nova Doomsayer is in my future. Then probably just a Thorison. Duke of Awesome 7 says, I literally just bought Amazon Prime for the advent of the game Twitch Prime, so you can sub to all the awesome entertainment you put out. I wish you all the best of luck. Woo! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. One time. All right, this is a good turn to do this on. Ow, ow. And then I think, uh, do I Thorison next turn? Depends on what he does. I mean, like, if he runs out a high main, which I doubt he would do. How far did the Queen of Manners go? We won two games, Laser Soup. We really won two games. It went bad. We won two. We won two out of our five. Weird. Interesting. Blizzard. Right off the top. Let's punish him. I think this is what I want to do, though. Because if he goes for our face, I mean, the lowest he can get us to is 16 on board. Um, and I think this puts us in a relatively reasonable position with these three cards here. He'll probably want to trade here. Oh, shit, that's bad. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 and 5 is 13. He can probably pop it this turn. Um, we hope that he can't. Because if he doesn't, then I actually am pretty... It's pretty reasonable to say we can win. Because we have... This costs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana. And all my other burn spells or damage boosting spell power guys are 4 or less mana. And I have like Thalnos... Uh, the Geomancer, I have another Fireball, I have, let me see, 6 and 3 and 4 is 13. Yeah, I have the two Forgotten Torches, um, another Ice Lance. Is that it? Wait, those two, the Fireball, the two Forgotten Torches, the Ice Lance. What a tease, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of ways that I think we can win, because we're going to get two more draws. Two, and I seven of them, or six of them, are good for us. So, that's pretty, that's pretty good. I think we basically have to go for it. Because we also have this weird out where we can spend four mana, and no, we can't do that. So also an ice block saves us. And then I'll have to do that. One time. Ice block helps us too. So half the cards in the deck. Half the cards in the deck win it for us. Half the cards in the deck lose it for us. And have I used up all my RNG today? And the answer is...
Kind of. Well get an ice block now. Boo. Ah, oh, come on! Ah, it's going poorly! We almost did it. <laughs> as much as a 50-50 can be almost. Maybe what we're learning is that the Astral Druid truly is the most powerful deck that has yet been made. I still think we played that game more or less fine. Yeah, it was more or less a fine time. I'm ready to go 12-0, though. As long as we don't go 0 and 3, which we might do, it's the scary truth of it all. The game is currently hunting. It's it's desperately trying to search out for anyone who is 0 and 2. Jane versus Uther. I will fight with honor. You asked for it. Paladin, bye 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 bye. Wow. All right, here we go. We're against the Paladin, so we're just gonna go hard. Yoknup says, luck and top deck. Astral might not be a tier one deck in general, but for you it is. Oh, yeah. This is our fifth run of the day. Which is incredible. We're going to go straight into his eyes. We're going to go. Astral Druid may have been my favorite part of today's stream, says Duke of Awesome. Yeah, it was good. That was a good one. That was, that was the premier leading run. Back to being a 1-1 again. Um, I think I'm just going to continue to draw. I don't see a reason to spend my Frostbolt on that quite yet. How many wins with Astral? We went 8-0 with Astral. 8-0. And, and then we went 8-3. and three. Let the pain Which hurt us. To me. Cannot tell why. That was, that was a tough one to live through. You will draw nothing! No draws for you! How many packs have we gotten for 4,000 gold? I don't know. Find out at the end how we're doing in terms of differential. Because I started the day with about 5,000 gold, and I'm uh, currently I have 1,000 gold, and I've gotten... ...20 packs and a bunch of dust. I will live to draw another day. 0-2 oh, to 12-2. We should play that intense arena music. Reporting for duty. That guy's getting frost blotted. Drawing it. Oh my gosh. Against O2s. I have no fear. So let's see. This is the barrier. So soon enough, we're going to need to be doing Thoris, Thoris, or Frost Nover. Put your faith in the light. Well, that's gonna accelerate our timetable a little bit, I think. Bring the pain. Yeah. I think we just pass. I think we're good. Nightlark says this was all a scam to get top players to spend all their gold before the next expansion dropped out. <laughs> Reporting for 
duty. It's pretty damn fun. I will say. If I may say so myself, I found it to be damn fun. We already have a lot of the burst damage. We have two card drawers in our hand. This is a little funky, but I, I don't think I want a Thoris in this turn. I think we're, we're, we're getting close to milling one. Uh, actually, I actually think that's okay. Actually, think that's okay. I do, in fact, think that that is okay. Because we have most of what we need. And essentially, there's nothing we can mill that would lose it for us. I'm trying to just get a huge Thorison. And I have a Frost Nova, a Frost Nova, a Blizzard. Oh, okay. So, Flame Strike. That's fine. By the holy light. Reporting for duty. My hand is too full. That's one of the worst ones, but that's okay. Because now it's clear exactly what I need to do. And we have the time to be able to do that. We're just gonna go for the Alpha Strike turn. And uh, we're essentially guaranteed to be able to do it. Because we have uh, several turns of delay. As long as we don't wind up having uh, one of the forgotten roaring guys at the bottom of the deck. For some reason I thought I had eight cards in my hand last time instead of nine. It's not as excellent as desired. But it is all okay. Again, that's weird, but I think we got this shit. Unless he can pop it right now. In which case we lose. Slop the play again. That's okay. <laughs> I think what we're starting to learn is that I just I just don't play well after six hours. Reporting for duty. One of them's in there. One of those frost bolts is in there, man. <laughs> this is one of the worst games we've ever played. <laughs> this was truly a spectacular Ooh, achievement, and fuck, shit, damn it, damn it, fuck. Don't pop me, Argentina. That's why I cut an acolyte, man. That's why historically I've cut an acolyte. Hitting in the world of overdraws is always hard. Reporting for duty. It's like, why can't I hold all these tools? So that'll be four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I found the frost bolt. <laughs> this is where he runs a cold light oracle, and I'm like, my god. I don't think I have 30 damage. I don't think I don't think I have 30 damage. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah, that sucks. Is that enough, anyways? Six. Okay, so this is 14 damage. 14. This is 14 and nine. It's 23. 
23 and 6 is 29. And then I ping for 2. That's fucking ridiculous. Unless I miscounted, which is entirely possible. so stupid. That is bad, man. This game was bad. It's a bad game. We're gonna forget it. We're gonna forget what happened. <laughs> God, man. Let me tell you, we have high highs, we have low lows. We're not a professional player here. We're not one of those grinders that knows the ins and outs of everything. We are one of those people who is bad. Who says things stupid like, I play by feel. <laughs> hip hip hooray. Oh. Uh. Ah, depth first search says you only need to be the second worst player on board. That's good. That's a good way to put it. We only need to be second worst. One down, eleven to go. This is my last game of the day, because I'm done. After this. I'm done after this. I'm gonna be heading uh, to what 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 they know to be a phone call. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna talk to my dear friend on the phone. My hair is sparkly tonight. Thank you. Ooh. Mmm. Don't flash the scene you play Hearthstone is such a different experience in the old Brood War days of mastery and expertise. I mean, that's really the thing, is that I just find it really hard to convince myself to achieve mastery in Snarfstone. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 such it is so much more fun to do nutty combinations. What I crave out of a game that is based upon mastery is a game where you can achieve a feeling of invincibility. I trained and I trained and I trained and I trained, and now I will never lose to Silver Leaguers because I hit gold. And I train more and I train more and I train more, and then I'm in Platinum, and I'll never lose to Gold Leaguers because I'm in Platinum. And then I do the same for Diamond and Master and, you know, all the way up. That's what's really, really cool. Breakfast 221 says, are you cynical like me and just think that this brawl is a way for Blizzard to make people waste their gold before a new expansion so they buy packs and adventures? Uh, I think that's crazy. <laughs> that's insane. Um, I mean, the, the, the reason that sounds crazy to me is that the idea of them being able to coordinate that sharply. You know? Like, we're going to come up with a completely different experience called Heroic Tavern Brawl that is governed by one team, while a completely separate team is coming up with the next expansion. I don't know, it just sounds like one of those. Sounds like a Hillary theory. For any of you who don't know, once upon a time I went and saw manatees on a beach and there was a docent named Hillary. And Hillary had a collection of facts about the uh, manatees, but also made a lot of shit up. And all her made-up shit she called her, quote, little Hillary theories. So she'd be like, oh yes, manatees tend to sleep this many hours a day, and they rotate along the beach in order to give an even warming to their blubber. And I think this manatee's in love with that manatee, but this one won't let them to get together. That's just a little Hillary theory. And at this point, I was actually... I was actually, like, nine... I'm like a nine-year-old, I'm like, that lady doesn't know what she's talking about. It's <laughs> just like, that, her, she's the one. But coming back to the the theory uh, of all the stuff coordinated together, I mean, it, it, it just seems counterintuitive 
like there there's so many things that have to be true for that statement to be true first of all the coordination already makes it seem unlikely the fact that they would say no 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 we need to wait for an enormous money sink before the release comes out i think there is a um um We'll see. Breakfast Two One says, "Well, I mean, they do have a corporate structure. Someone is the boss of both departments, and they do have stockholders to report to and act, uh, an Activision to please." I mean, there's this, there's this. It, it's the wrong way of logic, right? If I charge a hundred dollars for something that you think should be ten dollars, that doesn't mean that I will make more money on the hundred dollars, right? I can't make people spend $100 if they only want to spend $10. I can't actually do that. So, for instance, there is a claim that I saw this, I like, almost a verbatim quote on our Hearthstone. I saw a sentence there that essentially said, everyone who's playing Hearthstone right now is really frustrated, not because, um, that's incredible. They're frustrated, no. not because they think this format's bad, it's that people like me don't get to participate in it. And we have all these people who are passionate players at our hearts, and we don't even get to play it because Blizzard's being greedy. And it's like literally those two statements can't be true. If they can't play it, then Blizzard can't be being greedy. Under that assumption, right? If it's the sort of thing that lots of people are playing and they're really enjoying, that's actually the most effective way for Blizzard to please the stockholders and to generate revenue. If they were creating this, and it was a really successful thing that lots of people played and lots of people enjoyed, it does not even matter its relative distance to the expansion, right? Because it is a sink. It is a sink for the money. So if it was dropped right after an expansion, then people who had just spent all their money on the expansion would then have to spend their money in the Tavern Brawl. And if it was released in the middle of the Tavern Brawl, the amount of playtime isn't increasing, so the same amount of free gold that's coming into the system hasn't changed at all. That's incredible. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it, it's one of these things that I think considers it as, like, a local context. Like, I can come up with an argument for this particular local event that might make sense. Um, but even consider the broader product. I think that the fact of the matter is, if you are doing a free-to-play game, and there is some sort of in-game currency, such as gold, the more cool, fun, awesome ways to spend gold you create, the more potential revenue you have. And again, that's not the more guaranteed revenue. In fact, there is so much evidence to demonstrate that if you give someone too much options, they will simply not... Um, they, they simply will not spend. Well, Tim. I'll play one more since that was a quick one. I mean, truthfully, honestly, I feel like the objective, not subjective feelings wise, ah, this is as bad as good or evil. No, they're, they're honorable. I feel like the objective statement is that this is a mode that will please some people a lot and will display please other people a lot. I would imagine that the percentage of people interested in participating in this brawl, or I should just say the participation rate of people in this brawl, is much lower than other brawls. And should this take hold and become a common thing in Hearthstone, I would envision, I would imagine, I would conjecture that Blizzard would probably be able to generate more revenue. That's about it. That's about all I'm... I think it's, it's very reasonable, right? Like, I think I think that m most things beyond that are like stretch. Like, there's a there's a conspiracy where Blizzard is trying to drain our bank accounts right before the expansion. That is.
functionally identical to saying, Blizzard made two things I want to spend money on. Isn't that evil? Only make one thing I want to spend money on. I don't know. It fucking makes sense. <laughs> like, um... Mr. Cop Top on it once. It seems reasonable, but I came here for the rants. You want to make it a rant? I wish people were more reasonable with their analysis and understood unbiased <laughs> objective reasoning. Here's, here's, this is just a thing that I see all over the place, okay? Here's a rant. You want a fucking rant? I'll rant. Here comes a rant. <sighs> Actually, I'm not in the mood to have that much energy, but listen, here's the thing I think. Um, there is a whole, ah, ah, Tetsuo, oh my god, and then he didn't attack, tight, uh, I am going to dig, 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 sure, oh, if you're sure, uh. here's the rant, a shitload of people do the following fucking stupid thing. <laughs> this is actually being dumb. Okay? <laughs> this is actually messing up in thinking. Okay? This isn't you got unlucky while thinking. This is you are... And you just... Uh, I, I'm, I keep saying you. Maybe you don't do it. The people out there do this and it's bad. They go... I have come up with one explanation for why the following pieces of evidence... Or, or, or uh, I, I've come up with one explanation conclusion for this collection of evidence. Therefore, that's the explanation. Ah! I hate that. I've come up with one explanation. I'm done. I quit. And you proved to me that this isn't the explanation. What? Wah! Ah! I hate that. I hate that shit. <laughs> I hate that so much. I really sincere that bothers me a lot. Let me, let me fuck this guy up real fast. Oh, you're sure. Hate that. Hate that shit so much. Happens all the time. You see it everywhere. Tavern Brawl is a really great example. People are like, I think that they couldn't come up with a Tavern Brawl and just decided, what's the most amount of money that we could make? Now... If we are being a reasoned analyzer, <gasps> I thought I had this one out. Oh shit! Did we fucking lose? I was literally trying to drag out, drag out Frost Nova. Damn it! Fuck! I always do this when I'm talking. I'm think. I'm in my head. My vision is blacked out. I'm like a bird that has a bird blanket on. I'm just in my head. Shit! Oh my god! I'm gonna lose. I literally thought I had Frost Nova held. Whatever, man. Fuck it. Um, we'll go two and three. It's fine. Um, man, if that's not really solid evidence for what I mean when I say I'm bad at playing and talking at the same time, I don't know what it is. That's like literally, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Let's see. Do we die? Yeah, we fucking died, man. God. Ah, it sucks. Well, um, the the thing that I really ah oh, I can't believe that. Whatever. I'm just giving two packs. Um, it is actually an acceptable explanation. There's no reason that that is a wrong explanation. Blizzard couldn't come up with something, so they decided to come up with the easiest, biggest money maker they could, and Heroic Tavern Brawl came out. That is one of say twenty legitimately reasonable explanations given that amount of evidence. So what you should do if you're in that position where you have come up with an explanation is you should say, 
how do I acquire more evidence in order for me to identify whether my theory is correct, whether this theory is correct, whether this theory is correct? I'll give you three possible reasons Brawl came about. One, someone on the team said, you know what? I think there's people out there who like more high stakes things. How do we create a more high stakes environment? We don't really have that. I mean, we have the Hearthstone Championship Tournament, but we don't have like the average Joe getting a high stakes experience. That could be an explanation. A second one could be them going, man, how do we make more money? We aren't making enough money in Hearthstone. Gosh, what if we just created a way for people to dump money in? Ah. Oh. Third one could be someone just says, I wish I could do Arena, but like with a deck that I made. Boom, that's a third uh, reasonable explanation, right? These are all possibilities. And something that infuriates me is when someone goes, well, here's what I came up with, so it's what it is. Like, really, I'm just like, um, So this is why I tend to be very not riled up by stuff, is because, yeah, no, that, that like, something malicious, like greed... That could be an explanation, but I would need a reasonable set of evidence before I even reacted, you know. <laughs> um, um, it's kind of like if someone came up to me and said, hey, you owe me $100,000. I might go, I don't think I do. And I would move on with my life until they said, you owe me $100,000. Here is the contract that you signed that says you owe me $100,000. And then I might look at that and go, oh, well, I didn't sign this contract. That's not my signature. You must have seen someone else. Right? <laughs> I don't discuss the conclusion. I discuss the evidence. So, um, so we fucked up. We fucked up and we lost. Oh, God, I can't believe I, I went two and three at three's my age. Oh my god, uh, the literal, the literal, like, I am in a th train of thought, blah, but, you know, I think that's actually very appropriate, because I think that that resonates with how I stream Hearthstone. <laughs> I hope you had a, I hope you had a grand old time. Uh, tomorrow, I, uh, I, I'm apparently out of Heroic Brawls, I can't play it anymore. I, I dropped 5k gold, and I think I got, like, 20, 25 packs. Last two runs were pretty bad um, but <laughs> mistakes were made I think what I'm gonna do is uh, have this wonderful delightful heartwarming conversation with the grandest human in the whole wide world mr. Tristan and then I'm going to um, um, see you tomorrow for some hard stuff before we head out, let's say a grand warm welcome to the new folks. Yeah! Nadav, Tanners, Maverick, HFSB, Out, Saniti, Nasog, Gordy Vision, Ra himself. Uh, unless you're Nal Ra. Eh, I caught you there. Zelda Assassin for the 32 months in a row. Nasty Hobbit says, what a great name. Red Always Mafia. B-Man B -Man Dragon, Meaty Ogre Gamer, Sonic Driver, D Templar 87, Joe Snowjob, <laughs> Steak SOC, Hartosis, Valiant Venture, Ramabas, Sa Salmon the Can, 19,042, Tyler DW, Duke of Awesome 7, Fishing Bowls, Yonder Crabs, Travis Fights, Dragons, Wheelie Warrior, I'm Quibsy. Sick biscuit, sick biscuitus. Oh, Vivictus SC. Oh my God, I missed you. Oh my God, I didn't realize you were you were all brand new resubbing. And of course, to our bitsy folks, let's actually let's uh, let's clear subscription alerts. Let's clear those. Clear, clear. I say clear, clear. I'll hit hide for now. Morneal M Copper Top One Hundred One Charos Twelve Ra himself. Ra himself. Oh, doing all the all the suggestioning of black mirroring. All right, all right. I'm hearing you, Matt. Brr, brr, w O eight. Oh, BM Killer for the nice deck, guys. Let me just say thanks. Hope you had a good time. Uh, and tomorrow when we stream, I think we're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. Bye, 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 bye. Show's over. Good music time. <laughs>